Good afternoon, groovy citizens, and happy Friday. Y'all, it is finally Friday. So, when I tell you that I'm feeling good, I am. Life is good. I'm going to tell y'all a little secret. Life is not perfect. It never has been and it never will be, but it's going to be okay. And I'm going to leave it at that. So today, before I jump into today's topic, I seem to have um, spilled some of my tea. So y'all know I have my signature tea. Mm. But wait a minute, don't judge me because I don't judge you. And y'all got me a medium order of fries. Mm -mm -mm. I'm going to have to eat these while I'm driving. And I know it's not polite to talk with food in your mouth, but I don't want my fries to get cold. So again, don't judge me because I ain't going to judge you. Let's jump into today's topic. Today's topic is prove them wrong. Prove them wrong. Mm. So here's a quote that I want to share with you. And it's by Les Brown. And he says, I don't know what that dream is that you have. I don't care how far-fetched it might appear to be. I don't care how disappointing it might have been as you've been working toward that dream. But here's what I know. Someone's opinion of you does not have to become your reality. Come on now. In the process of working on your dreams, you are going to incur some I care a lot of disappointment, a lot of pain, a lot of setbacks, but in the process of doing that, you will discover some things about yourself that you don't know right now. What you'll realize is that you're more powerful than you can ever begin to imagine. I learned that a few years ago about myself, that I am more powerful than I ever could have imagined. And as always, I'll put these quotes in the description box. And then here's another one that's unknown, and it just says, excuses sound best to the person that's making them up. I wrote down unknown, but I was listening to a motivational video this morning, and I think I know, no, it's not the same person. Somebody else said it, but at the time I heard this, I had to put down unknown, because I'm not sure the guy's name that was saying it at the time. And then Denzel Washington says this, nothing happens unless you change. Now y'all need to listen to this. Nothing happens unless you change. So change is not our enemy. It's our friend. There's a season that you may go through with a different period, but that is to wake up your ability to change. You cannot become what you are born to be unless you are willing to change into something you are not. Y'all, that's powerful. When I heard that, that thing hit me right in the stomach. Mm. I have to say that again. You cannot become what you are born to be unless you are willing to change into something that you are not. This is why change is so important. He says, Shakespeare says, sweet are the uses of adversity. Mm. We never grow into good times. We never advance unless we're under pressure. Change comes to improve and to advance your life, not to destroy you. And you all, I stand corrected. This quote is by Dr. Miles Monroe. The, now, the quote that I'm going to share with you now is Denzel Washington. He said, I found that nothing in life is worthwhile unless you take risks. We talked about change and change involves taking risks. And we'll unpack that in just a little bit. And then here's one by Steve Harvey. He says, you have, you have to change in life if you don't take... I'm sorry, you have to take chances in life. If you don't take chances in life, you'll never have the life God has for you. Life is risks. It takes courage to pursue your dreams. You all remember that. And then here's another quote by Denzel Washington. And he says, Nelson Mandela said, there is no passion to be found playing small and settling for a life that's less than the one you are capable of living. And then I just made, I have three or four points that I want to share with you. And I said, how do you prove them wrong? Well, number one, know yourself. You must know that you have the ability to do whatever it is that you are trying to do. 
and the only person that knows your ability is you. So you have to know yourself. Number two, I said, believe in yourself. You need to do this even if nobody else believes in you. You always have to believe in you. See, you don't have to believe in me. And it doesn't matter to me one way or the other. You know why? Because I'm not going to lose any sleep at night. It's not going to mess with my money. It's not going to, to take my cars away. It's not going to make me just fall apart and lose it. I'm going to always believe in me, even if you don't. Number three, I said, show up. You have to put in the work. You've learned what you need to, to, to learn. Now you need to work on getting moving. See, a lot of times we spend, uh, we spend so much time in school learning and, and because, because we're afraid to get out there and just start doing it. Well, you've learned all you need to learn. What is she wearing? Jesus Christ. Yeah, I'm sitting over here in front of the Capital One Bank, and this woman clearly has no bra on with this frock of a, a night dress, I guess is what it is, and some Uggs. Help me, Holy Ghost. Number three, I said, show up. Oh, I'm sorry. So we talked about number three. So then number four is work hard. And this means going in at 110% and not giving up because nobody believes in you. And now that I think about that, I think we're going to make it 120%. So you can't just give 100% anymore. You need to give a little bit more. So as I head on home, and I'm actually going to stop and get me some gas on the way in since gas prices are dropping. As a matter of fact, there's a gas station across the parking lot. I think it said $3.39, but I don't buy Sunoco gas. I like Shell. So I'm just going to go ahead and get me some Shell gas. But yeah, so we're going to talk about that. Uh, I want to unpack that just a little bit more about proving them wrong. And specifically, somebody has something that you've been wanting to do. You, you've had a burning desire to accomplish a goal, a dream. God has placed it on your mind for you to do something. And you've, you've studied, you've learned all you need to learn about whatever that thing is, but you haven't acted on it because you're worried, you're afraid. And you're afraid that, well, what if it doesn't work? You're afraid of what if nobody likes what I've created? You're, you're afraid of what people are going to say about you. Honey, let me tell you something. I don't give a you know what, what people say about me. Because people are going to talk about you no matter what. No matter what, people are going to talk about you. And the interesting thing is, I saw a quote, and it was talking about how you can do a million things right and all it takes is for you to do one thing wrong and that's the thing that people are going to talk about so you know what you can't stop people from talking about you so boo i wouldn't even worry about that go and live your life enjoy yourself live your life to the fullest because people are going to talk no matter what but in terms of you being afraid to step out there and do that thing that god has called you to do because you know i talked about this before where when you have a vision to do something, God gave that vision to you. He could have given it to your next door neighbor. He could have given it to your enemy, but he gave it to you. And he gave it to you, expecting you to do something with it. And the worst thing that you can do is not act on whatever that thing is or those things are. Because in my opinion, it's a slap in God's face. Mm, let me close this, y'all. It's a slap in God's face when he gives you a gift. He gives you talents and yet you don't use them. So, I would suggest that you don't. Get out there. Do what you need to do. Stop worrying about other people loving on you and praising you and clapping for you. Honey, I don't need you to clap for me. Because I'm telling you, I know that what I have to offer, somebody's always going to need it. Do you realize there are people that wake up every single day thanking God for someone like me to motivate them. Thanking God for for putting me in their lives because they are so motivated by the content that I put out. And I know this because people have told me, Michelle, you have no idea how much I am thankful and blessed by what you do. You have no idea how you speak life into me. I even had a woman tell me one time, and this just brought tears to my eyes, that she was contemplating taking her life because 
she just felt like she didn't have anything to live for. She said, I came across one of your videos and it just blessed me to the core of my being. And she's been a subscriber ever since. Now, I can't think of her name off the top of my head, but I, I still say I saved that email because that was so powerful. And that was early in my YouTube career, if you will. Or I should say my posting career, however you want to look at it. And I thought, wow. God has truly given me a gift and I am walking in it. But for a long time I didn't because I worried about what people were gonna think. And now I can't worry about what you think. I, my focus is on those that, that need what I have to offer. See, cause what I also know is this, you are never gonna be everybody's cup of tea. Why are we dragging y'all? Jesus Christ. You're not gonna be everybody's cup of tea. You're just not. And so you can't worry about the people that 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 you weren't sent to speak life into. I have to worry about those that need what I have to offer. So getting back to our topic about proving them wrong, I need you all starting today, starting today, today, today. I don't mean tomorrow. Excuse me, I don't mean next week. I don't mean next month, and I certainly don't mean next year, but I mean today, starting today, I need you to put pen to paper, and I need you to write down that thing that God has called you to do. I need you to write down those gifts that God has assigned to you, and then I need you to come up with the plan to, to, to put them out there, because somebody right now needs what you have to offer, but they can't get it because you're not acting on it. And why are you not acting on it? Because you're afraid. You're afraid of failing. But can I tell you this? Failing is essential to your growth. Failing is essential to my growth. Growth, growth, what is that? <laughs> so we have to fail in order to succeed. Everybody that you know right now that's successful in whatever it is that they're doing, do you know that they have failed? And some of them have failed more times than they can even count at this point. But that's what made them who they are. That's what allowed them to become great at what they do because they fail. If all you do is win, 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 as the song says, and, and you never fail, how do you know when you need to work on things? How do you know what you need to work on? So failing is a part of life. And as Les Brown says, if you get knocked down in life, try to land on your back because if you can look up, come on somebody, you can get up. So it's all right if you, you don't succeed at whatever you're trying to do because what is the quote says, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. Only losers give up and just say, okay, I'm done with it. Mm -mm, we're not doing that. We're not doing that. We are going to succeed and we're gonna win. Because you all, I believe that you all can win. I believe it's in you to win. And so that's what I want you to do. So you guys, that's that's it. I'm going to leave these quotes in the description box. And I, when I leave these quotes in the description box, I want you all to, to save them. Because they're so important. I don't know about you all, but because I put my notes on these index cards, I can go back and I can look at them later. And, and I'm telling you, they just bless me all the time and 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 a lot of times they bless me at the right time but it's so important that you go out here and you prove them wrong now i'm not let me tell you what i'm not saying i'm not saying make that the only reason why you're doing what you're doing i'm saying go out there and prove those individuals wrong and you know what's really sad the sad thing is that sometimes the people in your family are the ones that will throw shade and not believe in you. They are the ones that will discourage you. And it's not just your family. Come on now, it's not just your family. Sometimes it's the people that are closest to you.
So you have to learn how to move those people out of the way and keep moving forward. So that's my time, you guys. I want to say if you're new to watching my videos, welcome. I'm so glad to have you here. If this is not your first rodeo, I want to say welcome back. I miss you guys. So good to see you again. Go out there, you guys. Have a wonderful rest of the day and start living your dreams. Start proving them wrong. You have greatness in you. I believe it. I want you to believe it and I want you to act on it. Until tomorrow's car vlog, take care. <laughs>